Hi, welcome to another video in my series on transformation matrices. And in this particular video, we're going to look at negative enlargements. If we have an enlargement scale factor k, where k is a negative number, center 0, 0, then if we have a triangle, something like this, ABC, and we carry out a negative enlargement, I mean, for the moment, this is a positive enlargement, scale factor half, but when we take a negative enlargement, negative a half, you'll notice the triangle is inverted and projected back through the origin. This is what we have when we have a scale factor of minus one, and this one is minus one and a half. So how do we form the matrix that would represent a negative enlargement? Easy. It's what we've been doing in previous videos in this series. Just consider the unit base vectors. That's this one here, one zero. And the other one is this one here, the unit base vector zero one. And we look at where these are transformed to under the given transformation. In this case, an enlargement scale factor k, where k is a negative number. So for the first vector here, 1, 0, if we ap apply a negative enlargement, it's going to be projected back in this direction from the origin. It's going to be projected k units back. So it will be k0. Be careful here, it's not minus k0 because k is a negative number. And with this one, 0, 1, if we enlarge this scale factor k, but k is a negative number, it gets projected back through the origin and its length is increased by k units. So this vector here, will be the vector 0, k. And again, it's not 0 minus k. k is already a negative number. So when it comes to building up that transformation matrix, what, it's, what is it going to be? Well, we just take each of the two vectors that we get in each of these diagrams. The vector that you get when one naught is transformed was k0, so it's k0. And for the other vector, it's the result of the transformation of 0, 1, which was 0k. All right, now we actually had this particular transformation matrix earlier when we were looking at positive enlargements, scale factor k. So it turns out then that it's essentially the same matrix. We just substitute our negative value for k in here. So let's do an example. Let's say we have a look at the example when k is minus one and a half. What are we going to have? Well, if we just squeeze this in here, we're going to have minus one and a half, minus 1.5, zero, and 0 minus 1.5. And we multiply this by the shape matrix for the triangle ABC, which is the vectors from the origin out to each of the vertices A, B, and C. So for A, it's going to be 2, 1. For B, it's going to be 2, 3. And for C, it's going to be 3, 1. And then we multiply these two matrices together. And if you're unsure of multiplying matrices, you can always go on my website and check out the video on that. But on that basis, what turns out is that if we multiply the top row with each column, it ends up just being negative one and a half of each of these values. So for the first value, it's going to be minus three. And then we're going to have minus three and then minus four and a half. And for the bottom line, we end up putting minus signs on each of these and timesing by one and a half. So you get minus 1.5 
and then minus 4.5 and finally minus 1.5 and this is the image matrix so let's plot these points we find that a which was at 2 1 has now gone to minus 3 minus 1 and a half minus 3 minus one and a half is that point there. B was at two three, now it's at minus three, minus four and a half, minus three, minus four and a half there. And finally C, which was at three one, has now gone to minus four and a half, minus one point five, minus four and a half, minus one point five. Looks to be about there okay so we have our three points okay forming that image of this triangle when you do an enlargement scale factor negative one and a half let's just test to see if that's the case so this is an enlargement minus a half minus one minus one and a half and indeed it does land on these points all these sides are one and a half times the length of the sides up here and the image is inverted. Well I hope that's given you an idea of how we can work with enlargements where the scale factor is a negative value and I would certainly encourage you to draw other shapes in other positions on a similar grid to this and try experimenting with different enlargement scale factors okay now if you've been following this series you'll find that there's plenty of other transformations done reflections rotations positive enlargements and so if you're unsure of any of these do check them out on my website okay it's the best place to find them because there's links to all the videos